Yes, guys, we are live. Uh, Drifty will be back in one second, guys. How is everyone doing? Um, yeah, Rod it's, what happened to Rodri? Rodri Dan already opening 20 seconds of this game. Madness. Uh, but big up to everyone. Thank you for being here on Drifty TV. We appreciate it, guys, for the watch along between Arsenal and City. Uh, the biggest game of the weekend, biggest game of the season so far. And uh, yeah, Rodri going down straight away in the first 20 seconds. We'll see it back here. He kicks off, goes back to Edison. And then it looks like an Arsenal player just smacks him in the back. It's Averts, the dirty bastard. Just smacked Rodri in the back for no reason. And he's kicking off again. What a weird start to the game. Uh, Colin LFC, big up, Jamie. Your thoughts on yesterday's performance? Um, yeah, decent game. Yeah, we conceded a few chances, but Bournemouth for an attacking team. So not too worried about that. At the end of the day, clean sheet, 3-0. We move on. Where what West Ham on Wednesday? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's keep going. Everts is a proper wanker. He certainly is, man. He's up there. Yeah, decent performance by Dubois. AJ the bum got knocked out quite easily, actually. I think I could have knocked AJ out yesterday, to be honest. Um Apparently, there's going to be a rematch, though. Eddie Hearn has said there was a rematch clause inserted. So, there will be a rematch. Um, if I'm AJ, though, I retire, man. There's no point carrying on. Yeah, Martial's starting. Uh, Martinelli's starting. Yeah, Martinelli's... Yeah, he's not been good, has he? Thomas Partey don't look like he's got the legs anymore, either, if you ask me. Going long and direct. See you win the ball back well. But big out everyone. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, it's been a good weekend of sport. We've had plenty of football, boxing. Yeah, it's been a good little time. But big up the crew. Uh, should not be a rematch. Yeah, it shouldn't be. But because it's in the contract, it probably will be. That's the problem. Well. Because it's in the contract, it probably will be a, there probably will be a replay because of that. Uh, Tyson Fury said AJ cost 150 million quid. He did. That was getting to be the next fight, no matter what, as long as AJ won. Harland there going for... Oh, I don't think that's a foul by Harland. That's, more of a, that's not even a foul, Sleeper or Harland there. Just play on. Arsenal attacking now with Saliba on the ball. Trying to sleep his passing range isn't that great, though, as I said, for a centre back. And now he's out of position, but City can't counter. <clears throat> Big up the Sean in the chat. <laughs> Big up Sean. Uh, calling for a rematch, you do a single round. I don't think you're calling for a rematch, it's in the contract. The thing with boxing is when they they pile everything in the contract so it's legally binding ain't it so um even though aj got absolutely dominated and there shouldn't be a rematch because it's boxing and it's in the contract there you go how are you doing good oh, everyone's doing good uh, what was the reason the name changed? Uh, well, uh, the reason Tifo got changed into Big Ups because uh, I believe it's the legal reasons. Legal reasons, I believe. Yeah, Eddie Owen. Of course, Eddie Owen wants the rematch. He's a, he wants, he's a promoter, ain't he? But apparently, it's in the contract. So if there's a rematch clause, there will be a rematch. That's usually what happens. I would say Dubois, AJ, probably, what, February? <clears throat> we got Enz man in the chat. Nice to see Enz here. Dynamic in the chat as well. You're doing well. The beat you took was nasty. Yeah, he should retire. I'm, I'm with you. AJ should retire. What I will say about AJ, I know there's people who are not big fans of his, and I get it, but what he's done for British heavyweight boxing should be applauded. I mean, he's the biggest star in British heavyweight boxing, which showed last night with 95,000 people at Wembley. 
you know, he is the biggest draw in British heavyweight boxing. You know, what he's done for British heavyweight boxing should be applauded. But it's time for him to retire now. He's made enough money. There's no point that beating, you know, he, t he spoke after the fight and he sounded like he already got CTE. So, yeah, if I may, Jay, just get your feet up, get yourself a nice house, get yourself a good woman and uh, live out your days in the sun, man. Why not? You've got the money. Uh, Liverpool conceding only one goal in five is great work. Also, the goal was in 20 yards. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yes, it was good, man. I'm happy with the defence. The goalkeeping situation at the moment is good. Oh, see, you're in. Good to one. Oh, and the volley puts it wide. Oh, <laughs> it came up nicely for him. His first touch went into the box. It was up for the volley. He did everything right about, apart from get it on target. Should have been 1-0 City. Beautiful football. Oh, we hit that like a spanner. Over 98,000 people last night in Wembley. Yeah, that's mad, ain't it? Uh, what's my predictions for this game? I think City will win 3 0. I am literally on the seventh minute, and I'm on seven minutes and 40 seconds, guys. Seven minutes and 40 seconds. Should be live in time with you. The timer will be on soon, guys. That's drift side of things. When Drift's back here, put a timer on. Be up pimp in the house. I've just heard Drifty's telly, so Drifty's quite a bit behind. And he's City again. Haaland's in! Haaland! 1-0 Man City! It was easy! Where was Gabriel? Where was Gabriel? Where's this world-class centre-back partnership? They got split open by a simple pass. Wow. Easy work. Easy work. Easy work. Again, questions about this centre-back partnership. Simple balls go through their defence. No one ever wants to talk about it. No, ooh, they're, they're the best centre-back partnership in the world. Yeah, look how many easy passes go through their defence at times. This is the third one this season. Villa should have batted the shit out of them as well. Harlan never offside. Gabriel Saliba and Timber, they're all asleep. They're all asleep. Wake up. Gabriel, where is Gabriel doing? What is Timber doing? Oh, they're dog shit. It's 1-0. It's easy as well. It wasn't even a hard pass. And then David Freya, the best goalkeeper in the world, basically came out and told him where to put it. Terrible goalkeeping as well by David Freya. What's he doing? I thought he's the best in the world. Fucking joke. That's really bad goalkeeping from Freya there. From I'd expect better from the best goalkeeper in the world. I know that. I want Arsenal to get a humbling. I know City... It's I don't we don't want City to win this league again. I get it, but I want Arsenal to be humbled. They need a humbling. I want them to get battered. I mean battered. Mars bar in a deep fryer kind of battered. You know what I mean? That's what I want. They need a humbling. Need a humbling. Arsenal coming forward there with Saka. Oh, and it's, oh, it's a good ball in, but it's dealt with. Um, oh, that's City trying to get away there. Yes, Pimp, yes. Yeah, let's get these, uh, let's get these guys. <laughs> yeah, Drift, you haven't got your thing on mute, Drift. <laughs> right. <laughs> Light work. Oh, my word. <laughs> Harlem's played 105 games for Man City and he's got 100 goals. Do you know how mad that is? <laughs> Do you know how mad that is? He's already on 100 goals for Man City. That is just absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Best keeper right here. 
Same record as CR7 for Madrid, yep. Just mad, ain't it? Absolutely mad. Why does Kevin De Bruyne look like a poetry teacher in the crowd? He looks like a poetry teacher. <clears throat> JD Activist in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. JD Activist, I'm with you, man. He can't play a high line. He struggles. They both do. We told people this. Sleeper and Gabriel can't play high line. They're not high line defenders. They get caught out consistently. But the media don't want to talk about it. Well, me and Drift have been speaking about it for time, but no one wants to listen to us either. <clears throat> Ruben Diaz now for City. City could just calm us down now. Arsenal look like a spicy Spurs. I don't think Arsenal have been that great this season. I think they've got away with a lot, if you ask me. Humbled. Just getting them humbled. That's all I want. Oh. Uh, fair play, Harlan. Transgender Viking. <laughs> Transgender Viking. Why are Teta starting cauliflower? City with a dangerous free kick. Yeah, drift. Yes, people. What's happening, everyone? Big up Jamie for holding it down, my brother. Apologies no to worries. everyone. <clears throat> so, wait, 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 what have I missed? Yeah, oh, I, I, oh, you missed the best goalkeeper in the world being very poor in goal. Uh, and you missed Gabriel Sleeper getting split open with an easy pass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, well, we told they were the best in the world. Yeah, and uh, Saliba and Gabriel getting caught in a high line. But I told they could do everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. That, that's why they're better than Ibrahim Verge, remember? Mm. Oh, off the post! Almost 2-0. I was going to say, bro, I think you're about a minute ahead of me, bro. Well, so I'll pause it. I'm going to pause it on 14-15. Um, Oh, oh wow, yeah, exactly a minute ahead of me. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. Right, I'll, let you know. uh, I'll let you know what more money is there. Right, let me get the scoreboard up. Big up everyone in the chat as well, man. TFO slash big up gang in the building, gift gang in the building. We're here for the big one, people. We're here for the big one. Uh, guys, why yeah. are you happy that City are winning the league again? Yeah, we, uh, no, I'm not happy City are going to win the league, but Arsenal need a humbling. <laughs> That's my point of it, anyway. Arsenal need a humbling. They talk so much. Can't be having it. I'm almost, I'm almost there, bro. All right. Have you seen the free kick yet? Yeah. Um, hold on. So I'm on 14, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Sweet. 20, we're 21. We're there we there. go. All right, we're in sync. We're all good to go. Man City winning 1-0. Oh. Arsenal. Arsenal. It's weird, bro. Exactly what you said is bang on the money. I don't want Man City to win this game. Winning this game almost means Man City take one step towards winning the league. But the Arsenal fans are so unbearable with their gas that you almost want to just watch them be punished more so than you want Man City to drop the points. Yeah. Definitely. It's a very strange relationship I have with Arsenal yeah. being involved in the title race. Yeah, they just they speak so much, but they're not winning anything. 
mad. Yeah, and you know what, <laughs> Luke, we got Luke in the chat. I've been telling people for ages that Arsenal were like fucks. They're such a dirty team. Oh, they are. They're so, people forget Arteta was a dirty player. His team is going to be in the, in his image. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're, they're just a defensive... Pro they're a defensive dirty team. That's what they always have been. Hold on, what's happened here? Oh, he looks in pain. Oh, my word. He's a, he's a Man City player, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's oh, making it. Yeah, it's Rodri, though. And Rodri got battered earlier by Havertz in the first 20 seconds. Now nah, this looks bad. This looks serious. Shit. Yeah, it does. What the hell's going on? It's Thomas Partey. Oh, you dirty bastard. That's a penalty. He just absolutely clobbered him. Oh, he's absolutely clobbered him with his elbow. Because it was a shoulder to shoulder, I don't think that they're going to say anything. Do you think he could have like pulled a meniscus or something like that? He looks like his knee just completely exploded. That's why he's that. That could be the end of the title race for Man City if they lose Rodri for for five months. Why is Pep wearing a next jumper? <laughs> you know that came from next. Look at it. <laughs> he's, he's the type of guy that doesn't care, really. He don't need yeah. to prove anything. No, nah, Rodri's Rodri's in trouble here. You know. Yeah. Cause that looked like that, yeah, that, that, should have, that should look like a nothing incident between him and party to be fair just barged him off the ball his knee buckled ain't it his knee is completely buckled party's done up diaz's knee and now he's done up rodri's knee i can't say the last bit there no, martin but yeah <laughs> yeah, Rodri. Yeah, for some reason he has Rodrigo in the back of his shirt instead of Rodri, don't he? No, nah, no, he's in tears. He's done, you know, bro. Now he's praying as well. He's done. You know, you know when you know your body, and you know right now, no matter what the guy's telling you, you you know you're done. Mm. Yeah, even Edison's come up to see what the problem is. Let's have a look here. So Thomas Party follows his run. That's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, his knee stops in the ground. His leg don't move. Oh, yeah, his knee's gone. You see what happened there? Yeah. His studs have got caught in the ground, and he's put all his weight on his knee. Oh, man. Harlan's next, and we're all good. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, what a turn. Yeah, it was. Look how easy it is. Look how their high line drift. Look at their high line. Thought they could defend anything. <laughs> it's an easy pass. Mm -hmm. That's not even a hard pass. And if I'm being honest with you, Gabriel's got to take a card and bring him down there. Yeah, it's a pussy. A... <laughs> what, what, watch this bit. Watch. Gabriel's got to just take him down right on the edge of the box. Yeah, and look at where Ray's placement is. Terrible. That was a jammy finish, you know. He's mishit that, but the keeper's made him like has made a mistake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Rodri's done. Yeah, he's done. Do you know what? That's Arsenal's... De that's Man City's Declan Rice against Brighton. I yeah. think that's the turning point here where Arsenal can get back in the game. Yeah. I don't know the guy bring on. Is Kovacic on? Yeah, he's struggling, man. He's in pain. Yeah, Forget Kovacic. the pride. Just let them bring you off on a stretcher. What are you walking for? When Virgil just walked off like he was fine against Everton, then he was out for nine months. That's the scary thing, isn't it, about um about ACLs and meniscus injuries. Yeah. You actually think you're all right, and then the scan comes through and you're like, nah, you're fucked. <laughs> what was what was that fighter in UFC, James, that was fighting and they had a torn ACL, but they were fighting? 
Oh, I can't. I know you mean. I can't remember. The, Luke might. Yeah, know. I, I, when I found out, it was like you what you was you were fighting with an ACL injury. Yeah. Look, they're all over the place. Hang on, drift to be right back. If it sounds like my door. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Big up chat. Yes, Sammy, big up yourself. Jay, Martin, Husky, Connor, Yards, TK, Ekemu. I hope I've said that right. Um, Sean, A9. What have I started here? I wanted to big everyone up, but now I'm going to have to go for everyone. I don't want to leave anyone out. Boo Rider, big up. Dynamic, big up. Baby Assassin, big up. Martin, Vern, Con. Bruno, Martin, Vern, I think I might be repeating a few. K Mods, Luke's in the building, Mizzy's in the building, Anila's in the building, Connor Red, Rotted, Arsenal have equalised. Told you. Goat Seeds, Marcus, big up everyone in the chat. Apologies if I've missed the name out. I told you lot. What did I tell you lot? Arsenal were winning the game. That's the moment. That's the moment where they win the league. That's the moment. That, that, that injury to um, Rodri, that's the moment they win the league. Man City ain't winning no league about Rodri. If Rodri is out for a considerable amount of time with that knee injury, Arsenal's on the tile. Because they'll win this game. And winning this game puts them in the driver's seat. That's a mad thing. I don't know enough about Calafiore to know whether he actually has the ability to shoot. But if that is that a one-off? Is that um, or is he is he normally good at that? Pep is livid. Pep is livid. It's just an equaliser in the 20th minute, bro. You don't need to go and hug your manager yet. You hug your manager when you get the winner in the 70th or the 80th or the 90th minute, not in the 20th minute. Arsenal mentality-wise, they never learn to not get ahead of themselves. Jesus, they could still go on and win this game, but fucking hell, running and jumping on the manager at fucking 20 minutes into the game. <clears throat> Game's on a knife edge now. That's a good ball to the back post, you know. Ah, uh, Doc, you couldn't do anything with it. Madden. The game's on fire now, people. The game is on fire now. Hold on. Sorry, James. I totally didn't even notice that you sent that in, bro. <laughs> Apologies. Got caught up in the goal. There we go. 1-1, one, one, brother. Yeah, I'll just see it. I hate the fact that my, someone delivered, I've got a delivery. They knocked on the door. They don't wait for you to answer it. They just leave the package there. I'm like, oh, Ever yeah. since lockdown, that's all people do now. <laughs> like, why to get it nicked? <laughs> I, I've had one or two parcels nicked, you know, because I've it's been so long um, till I get home. <clears throat> that's just obvious. Or the guy said he left it there and he, he took it and he kept it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, the only thing I had once is that um, I had the delivery um, that weren't for me. The postman posted it in, uh, it went, uh, gave it to me, and uh, I just opened it because I thought it was my package. And it was like the latest FIFA game, and it was in the middle of lockdown. It was the latest FIFA game, middle of lockdown, right? <laughs> and I went, oh, I didn't. I, I called and I opened the door and went, oh, mate, this ain't for me. I just opened it my mistake. This ain't for me. And he went, I can't take it back, man, because of COVID. 
You'll have to keep it. Oh, raw. Yeah. We, we can't take anything back. You'll have to keep it. Yeah, yeah, you've got it, <laughs> it? That was the rule. <clears throat> and we'll inform the uh, we'll inform the other person and they'll get their money back. And you'll get a free game. I thought, all right, sweet. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, uh, that's a touch. Oh, good control there, Savio. Savio looks a good player, man. Yeah, he does. It's all city go camp. Oh, you know, Arsenal just got to sit back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they're just going to go back to what they were doing when it was nil-nil. They've come for the draw, but they'll take the win. And I think with Rodri, I, I was just saying to the people, James, I think if Rodri is out for a considerable amount of time, anything more than a month, that's pretty much them out of the title race. Yeah, it looks like a bad injury, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I think Arsenal, if Arsenal win this game and that Rodri injury is a lengthy thing, then we're looking at 70% Arsenal winning the league. Yeah, or Liverpool. They'll go top. They've won away the Etihad. I'm not giving up on Liverpool winning the league by any stretch, but Arsenal definitely become massive favourites if they win this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What they've done the last couple. And Rodri is out for a considerable amount of time. The only thing I will say is that if there's anyone who could do it, it's City and Pep, ain't it? Yeah, that's true. I mean, it won't shock me if they went and bought Zubamendi in January. <clears throat> Remember, they've got a situation right now where De Bruyne is injured as well, so they've got two of their key players injured at the moment. Yeah. But I think that signing of Gundogan back in the summer is a good one, you know. Ah, oh, bro, if they didn't have Gundogan in the team right now, can you imagine how much they'd feel like there's yeah. there's no like cover, no... Because Gundogan could probably play Rodri's role for a little while. Yeah, in cover everywhere in midfield, can't they? Yeah, but at his age, they can't need to rely on him for like 10 games in a row or something mm. like that. Why? Well, this one's getting interesting. We've got a few goals at least. I didn't think we'd get any. I thought this might be a nil-nil. I thought Arsenal's celebration was a little over the top, though. I was saying that to the people as well. Jumping in the manager's arms only 20 minutes into the game. Yeah, you do that in the 85th minute, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, you jump into the man, or, or if you score like the fourth goal in a 4 0. Yeah. I saw Pep pissed off like he kicked his chair. I've never seen Pep like that. He's livid. He hates transitionally. He hates goals conceded in transition, though, don't he? He hates that. <clears throat> Uh, watch that he gets Uber Mendy now. Yeah, <laughs> you know it, don't you? Do you know who City did who, who do want, and we got him, and that's Alexis McAllister. Yeah. Ah, oh. oh, Savinho's in there. Harlan. Oh, oh, good defending by Saliba. Good defending. I wouldn't say Harlan. Do you know it's mad? Harlan's main weakness is his aerial play. It, I mean, I'd probably say his overall technique, but I know what you mean in terms yeah. of like from, attack, from an attacking point of view. For his size as well. I'm, I'm quite surprised that Walker's got the nod ahead of um, Lewis because Lewis has been playing really well. I think it might be that pace against Martinelli. Maybe. Lewis ain't a slouch though. No, I think Walker's a big game player. I think Walker, Walker, oh my God. I think Walker will get the big games. Yeah. If Arsenal get a Zuba Mendy, that will be the biggest slap in the face, man. <laughs> There's no mountains in Manchester. What are we doing? Do you know what I mean? That would be such a slap in the face if he went there after saying no. What are, what are Arsenal doing? <clears throat> City trying to build a bit of momentum back now. Yeah, just keep. Arsenal going to a low block. It's mad. They're so happy to play like this. 
So I keep saying Arteta is basically Mourinho. Big up, Jay, for letting me know. I don't know why the time has stopped. Must have done it by accident when I changed the score. Big up, Jay, for letting me know that. I'll get that restarted again on the 31st minute. Oh, great, but we can get hold of it. No, unlucky. <coughs> yeah, Arsenal, Arsenal don't mind playing low block football. I'd hate it, but they don't mind it. Well, they, they don't care as long as they win. There you go, 31. And we're going. Did you watch the boxing last night, Drift? Ah, oh, spectacular. I, I really regret not putting a bet on. You absolutely smashed him to pieces. Do you know what the weird thing is, though? AJ looked like he was getting back in the fight as well. He, he did. Hurt, he hurt Dubai and it went Dubai sent backwards. But because AJ took so many shots, he couldn't take no more. Yeah. Hundred percent. But apparently it's an automatic rematch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely know that um AJ wouldn't want to not be able to get his own back. To be fair, maybe he will, but that fight the way that fight went down, I think his credibility might be the thing that's got hurt the most. Do you know what? That's probably his David Hay moment against Bellew, where everyone thought he was a thing, and now it was a bit like, oh, shit, what happened there? Yeah. And everyone thought Bellew was going to get smoked on the rematch because, obviously, he had the injury, and then Hay just gets smoked again. Yeah. It's not a formality that AJ will win the rematch. No, nah, AJ should retire. He's done enough. Football. It's probably pride at this point why he's why he's still going because at thirty five years old and a multi millionaire with all the titles won in his reign, what is there left to really get punched in the face for? Yeah, exactly. I'd call it a day if I was him. When you look at um a few of the older boxers and how they you know they've got like they slur their words and you can tell that their brain is just a bit fried. You don't want to be that person, man. But that was AJ after the fight. Did you hear him? He was like, yeah, yeah, he needs to call it a day. He needs to call it a day. I've just realised that he's gone timber right back, Calafuri left back. Is Ben White injured? Oh, yeah, I did realise Ben White weren't playing. <clears throat> Tells, I have no idea. I mean, it's worked because Calafuri got the equaliser. Look at Arsenal, the little pussies. He kicks the ball to them and they're like, hey, hey, he's kicked it away. He fucking kicked it in your direction, you prick. Mm. Oh, my God, <laughs> they're just begging for anything. All right, Salvinio's got such acceleration, man. This kid looks... He, this kid looks good, man. Yeah, he could run from a, a, a stop and start, can't he? Yeah, Do you know what it is with players like that, Jamie? Yeah, when I, the, the way I've, like... I've been paying attention to football in the last, say, 10 years. I know people are, players aren't meant to peak until they're around 25 to 27. Mm. But when you're a player like Sylvino, where your whole game is explosiveness, rapidness, the ability to get past players, I think once you get to about 25, you're done. Yeah, yeah you have to change your game. That, you, yeah, and you've got to change your game because you've done all of that running that your legs are like, yeah, we can't just keep doing this week in, week out anymore, mate. Oh, it's a bit like Salah. Salah was like that when he was young. Yeah, he was. And he changed his game as he got older. So it's almost like the best time to have these these type of players is when they're immature and they're young. Because once they reach maturity, they can't really do what they used to do anymore. No. Look at Rashford. I know he's not slow, oh, but Rashford's, slow. what, 27? What and Rashford, oh. Rashford has just lost his ability to do what he used to do. Uh, Trent's, last, Trent's our last interview is good news. What's that? Trent's latest interview. What's that? Oh, what? Has he done an interview recently? 
let us know guys i don't know i've not seen anything from trent city corner oh good header gabriel away oh walker has been shocking this game he was at fault for yeah, the goal yeah. as well it's on twitter oh, i'll go and i'll quickly go and check Declan switches the ball over. Well, watch from Carl Walker. So Trent says on his future, I want to be a Liverpool player this season, is what I will say. What's that mean? That doesn't sound like good news. That sounds like a man who's leaving. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that, unless there's more to I want to be a player for this season, but you are already, bro. Oh, hang on. I've got a load of quotes here, so... Uh, Trent about his future. The most important thing is always trophies, if I'm honest. I want to win trophies. I'm a player who is highly motivated, motivated by trophies and winning things and being elite. So that's probably the main factor. Yeah. That's going to uh, be his excuse for going Real Madrid. Trent says, look, I've been at the club 20 years now. I've signed four or five contract extensions and none of those have been played out in public. This won't be either. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not sure if I'm, I, I, I'm good more, news. I'm a little more concerned, and I am happy about hearing those quotes. To be honest, yeah, I don't know if. Yeah, the only thing I, I'm happy about him saying is it won't be played out in public, which I'm. That's cool, but every else don't really sound. That don't give me confidence. <clears throat> Hold on, Jamie. Uh, explain something to me, please, bro. Why is Doku marking Gabriel? No idea, and it's almost two nil. I know, and Gabriel real. literally got on the. Do you know what? I don't think he's great defensively. How the Arsenal fans do, especially if Saliba wasn't there, I think he'd start to have those dodgy moments. But what I will say about Gabriel, from an attacking point of view, he's one of the best defenders I've ever seen at like scoring and being a threat from defending from yeah, corners. Yeah. Sorry, how on earth does the ball just always magnetise to him? Well, their, their corners are set up for Gabriel to get on the end of, and no one's worked it out yet. But that's what their corners And if, if Arsenal scored there, Guardiola would have actually been in the mud. You've got Doku picking up the best um, Arsenal attacking defender. Now, what, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? Like, we can't just let that go because it's Guardiola. Doku is probably your smallest player, Barbonado. Yeah. He's not even defensive minded. What, I, what, I don't even get what the hell that what was the point in Doku marking that I'd was have, weird. I'd have, I'd have Harland on I'd have Harland on Gabriel. Yeah, just for the literal size and intimidation in, in strength alone. Yeah, just uh, and just follow him everywhere in a corner. Don't let him jump. Or or you put a shit houser on him like Kovacic who's gonna rough him up a bit and not let him get away with it. Yeah. Doku? What the hell? Yeah, Connor's right. That those quotes from, from Trent, that, that is definitely Real Madrid mentality, not FSG mentality. Yeah. The point where he said trophies is all it's about, that's the part that FSG didn't get the memo on. Yeah. Because FSG don't care about anything but sustainability. The fact, the fact he says he's been here 20, 20 years as well. That makes it sound like he wants to change, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm worried now. Those quotes have made me actually feel worse than I felt before. Do you know what? The quotes coming out from Virgil and Salah were more were better than that, if you ask me. <clears throat> With with what the one when Virgil was basically like just annoyed that we hadn't strengthened. Yeah, he was like, just give me the contract and I'll sign it. Basically what he's saying. I I think Mo Salah was literally like telling everyone if they put a contract in front of me, I'm, I'm signing it. Oh, yeah, it, I, I've been saying for a while now, I, I think Trent is the hardest one to keep. Yeah, I agree with that. Just because of his motivations. Because Salah and Virgil are older. They've been there and done it now. They just want they probably just want a nice deal till they retire. Where yeah. Trent, Trent's got like ten years left in the game, ain't he? So 
if you was if you was around 33 34 years old like virgil for example would you even want the stress of going to a new club and having to prove yourself all over again at that age no nah, he's at a top top club in the world you give him a good contract here sign it no problem yeah same with Mike. and, and the, way, the way i've heard virgil talk in the past i know he's a man who believes in legacy and if you stay at liverpool to the end you're etched in the legacy oh yeah and I think he is anyway but you don't want a, a few years at madrid where people forget you almost yeah Tre i think virgil wants to be spoken about like people speak about alan anson yeah and gerard and, and people like that yeah and I, I and i've not seen anything to say that his game's getting worse either <clears throat> Well, Kyle Walker's struggling a bit here with Martinelli. Yeah. Martinelli's actually won the battle. He got the assist for the goal. Yeah, it's Walker who's out of position. That's why I think he went so potty. Mm. He, ha he hates them goals on transition. He hates them. Oh, look how easy that was. Hold on. Isn't Walker supposed to be on to stop that? Yeah. I don't think he's got the Walker's legs Walker's losing his pace, finally. I don't think he's got the legs anymore. Yeah, look. Look at that. Martinelli gets past him like he's not even there. It looked like he took... It, do you know what Walker looked there? He looked old. Yeah. That's what he looked. He looked and, old. And he looked like a guy who hasn't played a lot of football recently as well, because I think people discount how important it is for regularity in the legs if you are going to perform in the big games. Yeah, I was re I was, I was reading as well yesterday that apparently Trent wants like four hundred grand a week. Well, if I'm being completely honest with you, when he's looking around the league at what the other players get, then it's that's the reason. That was Bear Walker. Yeah, but, it's a but he only yeah. got there, he only got there first because it was Trossard. But he's a right back at the end of the day. Do you know no, he's but he's a transformative, revolutionary right back. Do you know he's the second highest paid right back in the league already? Only only Reese James is on more money than him at right back. That's crazy, isn't it? And Reese James is on 250 grand a week. So I if if Trent wants more than Reese James and around that 270 mark, I'll be like, I'm not bothered about that. That that makes sense. But more money than Salah, who's an attacker, I don't know, man. Don't know about that. The wickedest thing is, even though I get where you're coming from. I think it is a bit unfair that the abilities of like goalkeepers and defenders gets downplayed a bit in the wages department because they are like if you think about how many goals Trent has contributed in the time he's been at Liverpool, he's contributed probably just as many goals as the forwards have. Oh yeah. Do you get what I mean? So it's like all the assists he's getting and you know, all the, the goals from set pieces and stuff like that. Like I think he definitely does deserve to be on at least three two fifty to three hundred. Yeah, yeah. I've always said I want the captain of the club. That's my aim. Oh, is that what he's also said as well? Oh, okay. I don't want Trent anywhere near the captaincy personally, but... Not if he's going to be all like that. I don't think Trent's a captain. I don't think he's a leader. You know what? HD's made a good point here. Trent leaving for free could be the biggest transfer fuck-up Liverpool have ever had. Yeah, oh, definitely. Definitely. Can't let a 25-year-old Trent leave for nothing. That's mad. <clears throat> that would be, you know, the only one we've done worse than that was Steve McManaman back in the day as well. Mm. When he left for a free, we could have got good money from there, him. Look, there wasn't kind of like eyes on the, on the, on the, and I think that was the first ever Bosman in football, wasn't it, apparently? Yeah, he was the first real big one, wasn't he? Yeah, McManaman was the first high-profile player to leave for free and go to another club. Yeah, went to Real Madrid, won two Champions Leagues, so it worked. Scored in the final as well. Trust Liverpool to be the team that let that happen. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this is funny from what Sean's just said. The commentator said, Arsenal get what they want, another corner. Like, literally, that is their game plan. Uh no, don't put Walker on Gabriel. Walker can't jump. Yeah, what? What the? Why? Fuck? 
No, look, he's gone. He's gone. It's a goal. One nil. Two one. Gabriel. Two one. There you go. Can see it coming a mile away. Can see it coming a mile away. Can City are absolutely embarrassing. Can see it coming a mile away. An absolute mile away. I told you Arsenal was going to win. I thought it'd be one nil from a set piece. Two one from a set piece. There you go. Oh, they are just a really. They are just a better Stoke. I'm not I'm not joking at this. You put these players in the Stoke to Tony Pulis side, they play exactly the same way. Low blocks mm. set, and set piece goals. That's what they do. No, but no, but you've got to explain to me why Carl Walker and Doku were the ones marking Gabriel. Look, Walker can't jump. Um, he can't move. And what's what's Guavano doing? As the as the player on the back post, he's the one meant to be jumping and winning that header. He gets barged off it by Calafuri, so he can't jump. It's a good play. Why are you letting the best header of a ball at corners in the world, probably? Do you know what's crazy, bro? What's actually oh. crazy is all that talk about who's more important out of Saliba and Gabriel if there was an injury. It's Gabriel. And look at he's the better defender because he's the only way they win games. Yeah, he's probably their top goal scorer this season. Look, Walker, again, two goals, his fault. He's absolutely... No, do you know what? Guard, guard, Guardiola, good, you prick. You're an, you're an absolute mug. You're an absolute mug. I thought you was the best in the world. How can you have Gabriel being marked by Doku and... And what do you call it? Um, by Gabriel and, and so by Doku and, and and Carl Walker. Like you're a dickhead, Guardiola. Like that's your fault. That's actually your fault. I can't even blame um, uh, Walker because Walker knows he's not good enough. Yeah. No, I agree. They need to put Harland and Gabriel. Just stop him moving. Put Harland and Gabriel is the only one who can match him for power and pace in the box. I do you know what I would probably more put someone like Guavado or Diaz on him and then put Harland on the on the near post or the far post. Yeah. Because if Harland was on the far post there, he would have cleared that. But I'm um, sorry. I don't see any different apart from player quality, I don't see any difference between a Tony Pulis Arsenal and an Ar uh, Tony Pulis Stoke and Arteta Arsenal. I really don't. They play mm. low block and they get their goals from set pieces. It's, it's, it's what they do. They're just a saucy stoke. Crypto, I hear what you're saying, that they need a mobile player to follow the run, but it has to be someone who knows how to defend, bro. It can't just be about running. It has to be someone who knows. What Doku and Walker did in both those instances proves they have fuck all knowledge on defending. Like, you don't let him spin off you. You don't let him spin off you. Like, even if you're holding him to disruntle him, they're just touching him so they know he's there and then just letting him run off the back of them. That's, that's, that's baby food. Yeah. I'm even more annoyed I didn't put this bet on now, man. I, did, I ran out of time before the game started to put the bet on. I'm so annoyed. Basically, two goals from set pieces. Yep. <laughs> Even a Kanji would be would be um, way better. Do you know what I mean? To be marking Gabriel, anyone who's actually got a defensive now. We all know that Carl Walker doesn't. Do, he's not a good defender. He's just got the pace to be able to get back in. He used to be a good defender when he was younger, but. Mm -hmm. There you go, just low block C now, watch. Oh, it's going to get even worse now they've got the lead. In the second half, I doubt Arsenal come out at all. No, no, they won't. And I'll say it right here, right now. You might show flashes every now and again, but Doku is actually a shit player. He just is a dribble merchant, ain't he? So he is. I've never seen anybody so ill-effective in my life. Just like, seriously. Merchant. For all of the stuff he does, he doesn't even get 10 goals and assists. Well, let's say, let's say it right, actually, right now, Drift. Let's be fair here. Let's take Haaland out of this 11 right now. Is it actually a good 11? 
it's it's all right. Is it actually better than Arsenal's? Because I wouldn't say it is. No, that's not a foul. That, that was definitely a foul there because he played it round him. Yeah, but it's his Arsenal. They get so many decisions. Yeah, they do. You can actually tell the agenda to get another team to be able to compete because they don't want City to keep winning. Mm. Yeah. When we were competing with them, nobody cared. But now people are like, nah, City is just dominating now. Yeah, Savinho. Savinho is definitely, yeah. I'll have Savinho over Docker every day of the week. Yeah, hundred percent. Doku's not good, man. He's just dribble merchant. He's got nothing about his game. He's he's. There's no end product with Doku at all. No end product. I I don't even know his stats from last season, but I'll be shocked if he got ten GA. I think he got ten last season because he got four in one game, didn't he? And that oh was yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that game. But then he did nothing after it, did he? Oh, yeah, it. <clears throat> it's actually quite mad when you think about the fact that Liverpool have a right back who gets more. Oh, that's a dirty foul. Is it Thomas Party? Yeah, Party's legs are gone. Oh, yeah, he can't run no more. He's not very good anymore. Yeah, yeah his legs are gone. He's given me 20 23 Fabinho. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much, yeah. Do you remember that time when um, he left his national side at AFCON early, came back to Arsenal, was on the bench, and we battered him in his face? Do you remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why, like, why am I here? I reckon in training, all Arsenal do is head the ball. It's just set pieces and head the ball, yeah. Oh, Trossard's off. Yeah, he's gone. That's the second yellow. See you later, son. It's a foul. I don't care what they say. It's a foul. Oh, we no, got no, it's kicking the ball away, bro. We got a game. He's on. kicked the ball away and he's already on a yellow. Yeah, he's a prick. Yeah, get him off. Yeah, I'll take a nose as well. We don't feel look, he knows. Oh, shut up, Lego. And can I ask Saint Drift, why is Arteta allowed to leave his technical area all the time and never get done for it? Bro, he doesn't bro, he's never in the technical area. He's never in the technical area. Do you remember last season, Klopp left it once and got a fine? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I don't believe that actually matters in the match. Colour me stupid, but because Arsenal have a lead to defend, I don't think that matters that they've gone down to 10 men because they're just going to play the same way. Yeah, just got to sit with defender. And Martinelli, what's he begging for? It's a f Let's have a look here. It's a foul. It's a yellow card drift. He's barged into the man in the back. It's a yellow card. Then it's a yellow card. And, and then kicking it away. Yeah. It's yeah, a, no, yeah it's do you know it's actually, a double, it's actually a double foul for uh, a yeah. double foul play? That is actually just a barge in the back and then he kicks the ball away. He's an idiot. He's an absolute idiot. What an idiot. That's there's no idiot. way there's any Arsenal fan going to defend Trossard for that one. No, nah, he's, he's barged the man they in the back. Try to run the agenda, but there's no chance they can back him. He weren't even attacking the ball. He weren't even attacking the ball. He's just attacking the player. You can't do that. The only reason Arteta thinks that's okay is because he's a little scumbag as well. Yeah. You know, do you know what's crazy? People don't realise. Look, look at the way he's embracing him. He's actually not even like, he's like, yeah, you did what I told you to do, mate. He's not even angry at him. No. Guardiola don't even look at you when you get sent off. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. There's been three red cards at Brighton Nottingham Forest game earlier today. Oh, well. Mal Gibbs White got sent off. Santo got sent off, the manager. And then the other manager got sent off for Brighton. Both managers got sent off. Boy, it's half time. Flipping out. That was an eventful first half, boy. Half time, guys. It is 2 1 Arsenal, and we're looking at a situation right now where the league is about to change favourite, in my opinion. 45 minutes to go, big 45 <laughs> minutes, but in my opinion, you know, I don't I don't really get how 
how we can't make Arsenal favourites if they get this win. Yeah. I'm happy that there's a way more eventful game than what we're used to with Arsenal and City, though. Yeah, I, 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 I think I think City come out now and absolutely batter him in the second half. Mm. I think I don't City, know. It's a strange one. It's Arsenal, a strange one. Arsenal got to sit back because they've got no choice now. But they were going to do that anyway, bro. That's the crazy thing. They were going to do that anyway, bro. But the only do you problem know what I mean? They've got one less player on the counter attack now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sammy, yeah, you can, my brother. <clears throat> it's um, it's crazy right now. Just replying to a couple of the threads, people. Big up everyone in the chat as well, man. Love as always to everyone. Record viewing for Drifty TV as well, so I appreciate that, man. Big up everyone. Yeah, everyone, yeah. Just answering back some of the threads. People remember as well, the threads are such a cool way to interact with each other. Bro, I'm going to bring in Sammy. Give me two seconds to just go and top up my drink. Sammy should be here in a minute. He should be coming through. Sammy, you got the request, brother? There we go. What's up, bro? Oh, Jeff. We, that, the game turned with that red boy. Crazy. Yeah. Arsenal fans, I remember this happened a few seasons ago. There was on top of City, boy. That was 2022. Remember when Liverpool was in the title race with City that year? When Jack had the red. This, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I thought first I, I thought it was harsh, you know, but I see the foul after, but that he had to go so dumb. Well, you, but, the it, ball, what you mean? No, before I see the replay, like for just kicking the ball right in. Uh, I thought mm. that one was but he fouled him too, he fouled Bernardo Silva too. You gotta remember though, when um when you're kicking the ball away. If you're, especially if you're winning, it's considered time wasting in it, and time wasting yeah. is an effect, a yellow card offense now. So, I think it makes it even worse. Like, say Arsenal was losing like three nil, and he did that. Yeah. Maybe the ref would be a bit more lenient because you wouldn't think he was time wasting. But if your team's winning, everything is just considered time wasting. Do you know what I mean? And once you're time wasting, you got to be booked for it. Yeah, yeah. But I watch in the city, Jamie have a point by watching the city 11 and i not see no cold threats by other than Haaland, Savino, mm. he would dribble you would dribble but you're interested in him to score a goal by jamie yeah. right by yeah they look docker in that yeah you. no just, facts yeah dribble, the, this, this this is probably the worst at our city wingers by oh yeah they, they've yeah. got no clutch anymore in it Mares yeah. was clutch yeah. Um, what's his Sa name? Sterling was clutch. Sterling, yeah. Sterling for City had clutch moments, but yeah, they don't have any goals from the wings. Grealish don't yeah. score. Doku don't. Yeah. Savinho don't score. Bernardo yeah. Silva occasionally yeah. scores. Like they don't have any. You're right. The only goal threats they have are the defensive um, set pieces, and then Haaland. Yeah, and probably Gundogan too sometimes, but. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I don't know if he's still got that clutch in him now. He's a bit older. I'll have to see. Yeah. I'll have to see whether he's still got that in him. Because them two chances he missed last weekend, um, so midweek again. Midweek. Yeah. Yeah. Like two seasons ago, we scoring them. Do you get what I mean? So it's like, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. City are in trouble though, boys. Yeah, <laughs> they're looking good, boy. I would, if I'm City yeah. at half time, I take Doku off. I put Phil Foden on, and um, yeah, I'll yeah, facts. Go. But Foden yeah. has to come on now. He that's their goal for it, Sammy Foden. He's not even on the pitch. That's yeah. the goal for it. Yeah, he's yeah for real. He's a goal shot. Yeah, but for who? You will bring him on. You will bring him on out wide then. I bring Doku on and just go two up top with Harland and Foden. Oh, play it like that. Yeah. But if Arsenal hold on to this win, they are massive win, mate. And he's 
This the second game is at the Emirates too. And I'll take I'll take Carl Rock Walker off and put Rico Lewis on as well. Yeah. Hey, I don't say this by zonal marking is the most dumb tactics in football, boy. Yeah. No, I, I don't Ga get I don't, I don't get why get, they're not marking City. Gabriel. Yeah. City had a warning in with Gabriel and he missed a sitter. Yeah. The, the first one was an easier chance, boy. Yeah, it certainly was. Look at that finish for Calafiori. Bloody hell. Yeah, that zonal marking is is nonsense, boy. It's a great finish. Defensively, yeah, but... City are not good defensively. They have not been for a while. Yeah. Look at their high line. Look at their high line. Look how high they are. Look how wide apart they are as a free. Look, you just go in the wide areas and you get in. So we you thinking, Jamie, 11 versus 10, you think Arsenal could hold on? I think it's going to be hard for Arsenal to hold on because they're going to have one less forward on counter. Yeah. So it'll be wave, it'll be wave after wave coming, right? Yeah, but, but the Arsenal built to play with 10 to you know, with them centre backs. Yeah. Yeah. Going mad, yeah. The big game going Spain going and kick off and all by Barca playing Villarreal. Barcelona Villarreal, is it? Yeah, what time's that? It's that it's it's that day. Okay, I'll that was the is it the Milan, is it the Milan derby today as well? Yeah, tonight. That should be good. Yeah, but trust that real dumb, boy. Arsenal fancy themselves hold on 10 men. Yeah, but yeah, it depends what City do off the bench. They If they bring Foden on the start of the second half, uh, look, that Trossard barge in the back is ridiculous and he kicks the ball away when he's on a yellow card. What an idiot. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's just stupid. Yeah, Rico Lewis for Walker is a good shout for real, boy, with 10 men. To help Rico Lewis going and he will help pin back Arsenal too, boy. He's, he's so good on the ball too. Yeah, I'm just looking at what for uh, Trent said on Fabrizio's part. I don't think Trent's staying at Liverpool, you know. <laughs> I think Trent's out of here. Yes, that's just yeah, Trent's Yeah, out. Jamie, you, Jamie, you tell Jeff I will be in the comments, boy. All right, Sam. No worries, man. Yeah. Look after yourself, mate. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Arsenal fans got to get over themselves. It was a second yellow. Trent is a Galactico type player, to be real. Yeah, I've seen going. I think Madrid. It's all done. Uh, I, 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 I think Madrid have been speaking to Trent for about a year now. Behind the scenes, seems very obvious to me. I think they've got in the Trent's here. The Jude going to Real Madrid was the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, Trent wants to go and uh, rim Jude Bellingham at Real Madrid. Go for it. I don't care. I don't really care if Trent leaves. I'm going to say it right now. People might hate it. I don't care if Trent leaves. I really don't. I can find another right back. I'm all good. I can find another right back. I'm all good. I thought Trent was absolutely dog shit yesterday as well. So, yeah, let him go, man. I'm not being held hostage. My club ain't being held hostage over players. They want to leave, let them go. 
They want to leave, let them go. I'm not being held hostage over footballers. <clears throat> and I, I actually think it. I, I can find another right back, but tell me how, how I find another Stadler and another Virgil. I think that's more difficult. I could just put Connor Bradley there and train him up and be the next Trent. Tell me another Virgil and Stadler I'll go and buy. <clears throat> There's Loco. Loco. Uh, I don't think Slot particularly likes Trent either. I'm going to say it now. I think he winds him up. Uh, I think they want to leave because Real Madrid have got in their ear the Vert Beef a view rider i mean treads won everything there is to win at liverpool so if he wants to leave i'm not being held hostage you can go i don't care i think yeah. madrid, I, I think real madrid have been speaking for Tr to trent for a long time now i really do mm. since Ju Ju Benning and i went to real madrid I, I i think they've been talking for a long time <clears throat> and, uh, if he wants to go there good luck to him good luck to him i'm not gonna lose sleep over it I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be super pissed, bro. Super pissed. I don't mind Trent leaving. He's at least in my worries, to be fair. I can find another right back. And you think if you, so? Yeah, and if you look at so far this season, we don't actually need Trent to do what he used to do under Jurgen Klopp either because you've got different players now that do different play in that midfield area that can do that job. Just go and get me a defensive right back that can do really well defensively. And then go and get me an extra midfielder that can do what Trent did on the ball. And I don't think we miss Trent that much. I actually think it's harder to replace Salah and Virgil than it is Trent. Here's the thing, though, bro. I know we got Bradley at the club. I think one of the key reasons why a lot of the big clubs are playing four centre-backs is because right-backs um, and left-backs in modern football are just rubbish. Like, what, what does it say about you as a right-back if a centre-back is playing in your position? And I think that's what Liverpool would do as well. Remember, that's what Slot did at final. He played three centre-backs out of his back four. There's this weird... Um, there's a weird trend at the moment, but I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there's actually no real quality right-backs in the world. There's just the odd... There's just the odd one. Like, there isn't actually, like, a high number of good right-backs. And... Uh, and also, um, in that, like, there's so many good wingers now. They don't need fullbacks to do what fullbacks used to do either in going forward and overlapping because wingers are so good today at keeping the ball out in them wide areas. So, yeah, yeah Ben White's coming on. I think that tells you everything you need to know. Yeah, <laughs> so, six at the back. Six at the back unless they've taken the defender off for him. Oh, they're gonna play a five. They're gonna play a five four zero. No one can pass the ball like Trent. Yeah, no one can. But think about what he does in slot system compared to what he does in clock system. It's totally different. I personally don't think slot likes Trent. You see, he goes mad when Trent keeps spamming the ball from right back. He hates it. He wants people to play out from the back and go through the middle. Also, we don't cross the ball. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but we don't cross the ball anymore under the, on the slot like we used to under clock. We don't cross the ball anymore. It's about playing through the middle. So if you're not crossing yeah. the ball, and not uh, if you're not crossing the ball and you're playing through the middle, then you're you're not using Trent's abilities at his best, are you? In them wide right areas. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's not. If he goes, he goes. I'm not fussed. Oh my days! Do you know what they? Do you know they're trying to spin the narrative that Doc who never got a yellow card that time when he kicked the ball to the Arsenal player, therefore, um, the yellow card shouldn't have been given to Trossard. These the narratives to make Arsenal look better or to like defend them is just you know. Remember when they did this when Jao Pedro never got a yellow card and then Ben White did. It was like, what? How about you just tell your players to stop being dickheads and they won't get yellow cards? Mm. Stop blaming everyone else. 
Flipping Rice kicked the ball away. Trossard kicked the ball away. Tell your players to stop being dickheads and then they won't get booked. Mm. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I agree. What is Ref having to talk with Ben White for? No idea. I've never seen is he, that. He, he know the game plan? What's he telling him? Why, why was he having a full conversation with Ben White there? Uh, guys, by the way, if you disagree with my... That's cool, cool, man. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to get angry about it. <laughs> it's all a debate. Some fans are all right. Some No, it's all good. I don't mind. Oh, my leg just exploded. About to kick off the second half. We got everyone in the chat as always as well, man. Appreciate you joining me. I'll take a plane five four zero. <laughs> Basically, what he's gonna do, man. Yeah, that's what I just said before. He's gonna play five four zero. And, this and is we're off. Second half underway, people. And this is the difference between the managers. I think Klopp would have bought an extra attacker on. I think Pep would have bought an extra attacker on, and not a centre back, even when you're winning. Hmm. Fuck off, they're actually going 5 4 0. Yeah, I, well, I can't believe I've got that right. I yeah. actually can't believe I've got that right. <laughs> Low block city, here we come. <laughs> they're actually going 5 4 0. Jesus. It comes so oh my hard. God, this guy is so defensive. It's unbelievable. It always has been. It's just this myth that he's an attacking manager. He ain't. He's always been a defensive manager. I can, I can, I can understand protecting a lead in such an important game. But this is like giving up like the right to be. Do you get what I mean? Like you're literally just being so defensive. You're almost like saying, come and bully us. I think this is the wrong club to do it to because that pass was almost perfect. If that pass got to Bernardo Silva, that's too all. If Silva had pace, then that would have been a goal. I don't think this, look, that's what Pep's saying already. Look, I don't think this is the right plan to do against Man City. I don't think Man City are very good defensively. I really don't. And uh, I think Arsenal should have just kept playing their game and just played 4 4 1 and just kept playing their game. Yeah, don't give up the possession to the point where you're just inviting pressure constantly. Yeah, just play 4 4 1 and just leave one up. Don't go too attack minded, but just play your game. You know, build up possession as you go. Because playing. Hold on, where's Saka? He's gone off. Is he the one that they took off? I think so, yeah. He must be injured. No, they just took an attacker off. The There's no way he's bringing him off if he isn't injured. He's just bought an attacker off to bring Ben White on so he can go five at the back. Yeah, but if you were going to do that, then you would make it Havertz, wouldn't you? Because Saka's got the pace for the counter-attack. He loves Havertz. He must, have put, so he must have something in his contract that says he has to play. Ball in. Haaland! They go. This is, they can't do this, Arsenal. City will score. He will, if, he does, if Arsenal lose this game playing like this, can you imagine the outrage? They took their captain off, by the way. Saka's their captain. <laughs> oh, is he? He was captain at the start of the game, yeah. He I went, didn't no, even realise that. He went, no, you can come off. <laughs> I but did not left, know that. No. They've left Martinelli on instead of Saka. Hey, that's sinking. <laughs> so Saka must... Oh, hang on, ball in! Kovacic, oh, is it? Bounce! Again, this, they've had three or four chances already. I want to see the equaliser. I'm, uh, Yeah, Arteta is just a—he's just a spicy uh, Sam Allardyce. That's all you. <laughs> I'm very intrigued how this game's going to go down now. I've got a feeling Arsenal might hold on. Man City just don't have many goal threats. It, they've got to bring Foden on, surely. Yeah, Foden in this. 
or the way he can uh, drop the shoulder and get past people in tight areas might be perfect. 100%. So far, Arsenal are winning the battle. Yeah, the battle with the pussies. <laughs> oh, man. Docker, I dare you to pass in the box. Oh, hang on. Good touch. Oh, no, 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 no. Something. Nah. Havertz bringing it out. Don't foul him. That's all you got to do. Don't foul him. There great, you go. Great, great, you just great. That's all they want. They just want fouls. They're going to get a whole 45 minutes of trying to get fouls. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, Arsenal are dropping back too much here. If, if City managed to get the equaliser, what the problem will be is Arsenal won't know how to reshape. No, Savino's done. Really this, well. this, this, oh, that's a free kick, Rex. No, yeah, it's a free <laughs> kick. Linesman's <laughs> gave it. Linesman's yeah. gave it. I, I, I can't believe the ref didn't give that. That was a blatant foul. Yeah, Calafiori took his foot out. Bernardo. Yeah, there, so. there's the foul. That was as obvious as it gets, bro. Yeah, well done, Lino. I can't believe the referee was just going to let that go. <laughs> well, he, he did speak to Ben White for about five minutes, so maybe there was a plan. Yeah, he him. did, didn't he? He was like, look, I'm <laughs> going to do everything I can. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to do everything I can. I really am. Oof. Have I seen the alley picture on Instagram? Yeah, they always wear them uh, boots silver. I won't worry too much. It's how it helps the blood flow. It helps the blood flow. Players even wear that when they're not injured. What 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 was the um? So what Alli you call it? Alli Alli Allison was at home. You know, he had them like a uh, inflatable things on his legs that help with blood flow. But, um, oh. Yeah, I've seen players, and everyone, every, obviously, naturally, everybody's a little worried that it's the injury. Because if uh, he was at the game talking and walking around with Tafarel at uh, on the touchline, weren't he? So yeah, apparently, apparently, it was meant to be a slight muscle strain. It wasn't supposed to be. Um, yeah, it's like muscle, anything muscle. like super super. No, it's like muscle tightness, ain't it? That's basically what it was. Yeah, Hit Walker, oh, Walker's passed it backwards because he's shit. Don't shoot from 30 yards. We're going to need a Guava Doll version of what Calafuri did. Yeah. Oh, God, the castle, man. Ireland needs to make a move here. He's, he had the opportunity to just turn there and run. Have a crack. No. First seven minutes of the second half are making it obvious that City actually can't break Arsenal down. Yeah. Well, they just got to sit there, man. Terrible shot. That's a poor effort. Yeah, Kelleher. The fuck, lucky thing Liverpool got is that Kelleher's a quality goalkeeper. So he came in yesterday and did put a foot wrong. I think Ali's off in the summer anyway, so. Ah, uh, don't, bro, don't. That's how I think we bought Marmadash really now. But his exact quote, um, Ali, was, I will be here for the remainder of my contract. I love Liverpool. Yeah. So, I, I don't, I don't, that, that's the most positive out of any of the people who've said anything. Do you know what I mean? I, I think Mark Edwards wants to sell him. If he does, then he's a prick. 
because Mark Edwards in the summer said he doesn't want injured players at Liverpool anymore. And I don't think Allison is injury prone. Every every year since Allison's been at Liverpool, he's missed eight and a half games through injury. Yeah, but I mean, if he still plays forty odd, do you know what I mean? Like, I I agree, I agree. But when because that comment came out in the summer, and then we went and bought Marmon Dash really from nowhere. Yeah, I'll crazy. be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on a different level of angry if Liverpool try and cash in on Allison just for the money purposes. If they, they, they get sixty million for Ali, three years definitely. Yeah, deal. Uh, I will be absolutely livid if that happens. Sixty-seven. Real Madrid, Barcelona, every club you can think of, they hear Allison is available. I wouldn't even be surprised if Arsenal or Man City got involved if they heard he was available. Oh, right, don't need him. They got Raya is the best in the world. Remember, <laughs> they're all right. Oh, that's the flick. As much as as much as City aren't doing anything in this game so far going forward, Arsenal can't do this for another half an hour. It'll be it'll be almost game suicide to literally do this for the next half an hour. Certainly would, and they're in the box here. Eventually, City will probably get through, or they'll give a penalty away or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't let City have 45 minutes of just pure attacking. Do you know what? I don't know if Martelli, Martinelli's got any IQ. <laughs> I really don't. Talented player. I just don't know if he's got football IQ. Can G? So this is just... Is this what it's going to be? This ain't a good look for the Premier League, is it? If this is what this is going to be now. Arsenal are doing their game plan to a T, though. You've got to give them credit. They're actually oh. doing what they what they came to do. They came to nick a set piece and defend for their for their life. That's what they came here for. Do you know what's mad? You just all this because you're missing one man. Seems always a bit over the top. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's actually true, isn't it? Older guard missing, and then for some reason it means that they can't do anything but just defend. Yeah. Yeah, they've had like just oh. yeah, Doku is a bum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doku was a Doku was a shocking decision to replace Mares. Shocking. Yeah. They're trying games to, uh, like this. Mares comes up with a brace. Do you know what I mean? I, Look, Doku can't even fucking beat Martinelli on the cross. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, no. Oh, he's poor, man. He's got to get the winner, though, ain't he, now? <laughs> Carl Walker's going, blast it! <laughs> Do you know what? That was a decent effort in the way of it was some danger for Arsenal to be worried about. Up until now, there's been nothing to worry of. No. If you keep peppering the goalie with shots, eventually he'll get tired. I'd have, for the next five, ten minutes, I'll just be telling my players to shoot whenever they see an actual opportunity. Let's let's get Raya a little tired there. Let's make him make some saves. Oh, Arsenal trying to push out a bit now. That's what City want. They want Arsenal to come out a little bit. But they're playing a six-three-zero. Jamie, they're playing a 6 yeah, 3 yeah. Zero. <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck am I watching? Arsenal are actually playing the 6 3 0. Arsenal don't care, man. Stoke alone, you know. Wow. Wow. A team that's trying to win the league is doing a 6 3 0. I don't give a fuck who you're playing against. Cool, not. I really, I really don't care who you're playing. You could be playing prime Real Madrid. You don't play 6-3-0 if you're a top team. Quick corner. Back post. Haaland! Saved by Raya. Into the goal. Should oh, be two all. How has Bernardo been that all. Should have been 2 all. Raya put it back into the mixer. Weren't the greatest save. Not the greatest save from Raya. He plays, that's a terrible save by Raya, to be put true. That's a terrible save. He put, he put it straight into danger. That's a terrible save. What is he doing? That's a terrible save. 
I can't believe Bernardo's blasted that so high and wide. That was actually a really bad miss, you know. I don't know what Ray is doing there, to be fair. Why are Man City letting the ball bounce every time? That's rule number one. Don't let the ball bounce. Take a, a trip. I've been saying this for about three years now. City are not that good defensively. It's just that teams don't have a go enough. Mm. I heard Brentford should have been 2 or 3 nil up in that game the other day. Yeah, they should have. They battered them. It's only Haaland who got them out of trouble. they got a bit of space here. You know, you know what's crazy? This is where you even more than ever see that they're missing De Bruyne because in these type of scenarios, he's the one that comes up with the pass. Yeah. Stop. Surprise, they don't have anyone else in their team, really, apart from Bernardo Silva that can make that eye of the needle pass. No. And the older Bernardo gets, the less effective he is on the wing. I'm surprised Foden. I haven't seen Bernardo Silva be effective on the wing for a while. No. I need Foden on, man. I'm shut Foden on. So am I. Do you think the game plan is to let them tire him out for a little bit longer and then bring Foden on for like the last 20? Yeah, maybe. I bet this is our city plane training, you know. Probably. That was good. Tell you what, that was on target for it deflected. Yeah, that was, you know, that was. Yeah, that was on target. Gundogan's capable. Yeah. Uh, Grealish in this area would be good as well. With his little trickery and the drop on the shoulder. Yeah, taking people out of possession. And mm. and the more, and, and as Doku gets tired, he won't be able to do the pace thing as much. I love if they can see the goal on a corner. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> City are decent at corners, usually. Why are they gone short? That was terrible. Yeah, that was. Goal! Oh, what a save that is. Straight at him, though. Straight that is him. lucky. So lucky, man. It almost went under his body. Almost went under his body, yeah. Look, straight at him. Yeah. That was a lucky save. He's literally just got down with no real thought process. And thankfully for him, the ball's bounced all the way up so he can catch it. Look, he saved that, yeah. But again, why does the ball bounce off him so much? There should have been a Man City player running in there to get on the end of that rebound. Look at Haaland. He's not even trying to get back on side. No, because he knows Arsenal are going to drop in. Look, that's it, see? He just, he just loves to go drop in. They can't play like this for another half hour. It's almost game suicide to do this for another half an hour. City will get an equaliser. This ain't a good look for the Premier League, by the way. Arsenal are the second best team in the league and they're playing like this. Yeah, it's a bit wild, isn't it? You you would act, you you would actually think um you're actually completely right you would think this was either a Tony Pulis or like a, a what do you call it um, a diet a diet or something yeah, like that. you would think that it was like Stoke or Everton two one up at the moment yeah and they're gonna they're obviously they're just gonna say because they're down to ten men but I don't think down to ten men is an excuse to play six three zero I'm sorry you can play four four one. You just leave one up top, but you still got four in midfield and four at the back. Yeah. Play play four four one in a diamond or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I try and get party sent off as well. You know he's got one in him. That was a well. He's already on the Yeah. Oh, well, here they come though. Nah, Walker's there. Walker's found his pace now. Do you know what he actually has, hasn't he? Because for the last few times, Martinelli's looked really slow in that in that race. Yeah, it's just taking a while to get going. Right, they've opened them up a bit here. That's a goal kick. Uh, I just I'll be honest with you. I can't watch another half an hour of Arsenal doing fuck all. You know. <laughs> I the problem is that you've got Silvino and Doku are not the right wingers for this game. 
they're not the right wingers. They're not going to score goals or create enough. Guys, give me a one in the chat if you actually think that Arsenal are going to hold on. And give me a two in the chat if you think Man City will get the equaliser. What is Raya doing? Oh, here comes the time wasting drift. Oh, fuck you, no. Half an hour to go and you're time wasting. Yeah, Gary Neville said that's the tactic. Yeah. Now, this is quite embarrassing if I'm being honest with you. And you know what? This is this is where you kind of know that even if they do have a good team, they don't have that elite mentality. Because an elite mentality means that you don't act inferior. And Arsenal are proving all the time that they know they're inferior to Man City. Are they going to... Surely Arsenal won't bring a 17-year-old on now. And you know what's crazy about how much it's a cheating tactic? It's because Arteta wants to do this, you know. So he tells a player to fake injury so he can bring everybody over to do his over-explaining of his tactics. I've never seen why this is allowed. You know, Arsenal do this every game. I don't know how they get to do it. Yeah, they, they do. They Every game is true. They're always getting a mid-game group huddle. Yeah, every game Arsenal play. And I'm, I'm really shocked that Fo 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 Foden must be injured to not be on yet. Do you know what the weird thing is, yeah? Drift, it weren't a defender mm. who got sent off. It was a forward. I know. So why are they just not and, carrying on playing like they would if they were playing 4-4-2? And the crazy, thing about, the crazy thing about that time-wasting is the only player that doesn't have to come off is a goalkeeper. So yeah. they've literally said, pretend you're injured to the goal. I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again, pretend he's injured. Yeah, sure. Because the that's the only way that they're not down, they're not down a man afterwards. Surely the ref will like not. Because if, if it was one of the outfall players, he's got to go off for 30 seconds and then they'll be down to eight men. Yeah, I just I just find it, man. If they got a defender sent off, I'd understand why they went like they went a bit more defensive. But they had a striker sent off. You shouldn't have to go six at the back because you had a striker sent off. Just play 4 4 it's 1. Mad, you just play 4 4 1. And if you want, that striker can go into midfield and make five. You don't need to do this. It's really poor. And you know, they're not going to be embarrassed if they get the win. They'll just care about the win. So. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, though. Man City will be embarrassing if they don't break them down, though. Low block for a whole 45 minutes, down to 10 men. Man City are meant to be the best team in the league. Like, that's, oh, that's oh, bad. Oh, Stocko! Oh, you are shit! You are absolutely shit! <laughs> he's so he, bad. He, he's, got, he's got less end product than a fucking market. <laughs> so bad. He's perfect place to play the pass. Flip here now. The chat's quite split on who they think will win the game, and it's it's, it's quite split. Doku's just a load of lead flicks, man. Yeah, he's not very good, man. Oh, no, yeah. you don't shoot on your left. You're not even good on your right, mate. <laughs> Imagine a player who can't even shoot with his strong foot trying to have a shot on his weak foot. What the, what do you think he's going to achieve? No, fuck those. And where's your clutch Gundawan now, City? I thought that's why you brought him back. He ain't done nothing in this game. Doku's, do you know what? Arsenal should actually be happy Doku's playing because he's time wasting for, <laughs> for Arsenal. Yeah, exactly. Every time he gets the ball, he just wastes 10, 15 seconds doing shimmies. Oh, God. I'm going for these long shots. they not going to in them. Yeah, I must admit, this game is showing me even more that City aren't going to win the league. It's, it's showing me it, uh, they don't have it in them. Mm. They don't have it in them. If they can't break down a low block Arsenal team for 45 minutes, they're not winning no league. I'm sorry. I, I just don't think their wingers are good enough. I, I, Silvino and Sacco are not good enough to be winning leagues. They're not good enough. 
Who's he bringing off? Yeah, oh, finally. Okay. Fuck you, no. Why he started, I don't know. Nobody, why, bro? <clears throat> Can't fold and get an equaliser. I can't believe they play six at the back for having a striker sent off. It's mad to me. I don't get that. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I've still got a free kick now where they want it. I see how ambitious they are here. And look at look at look at the faking of how hurt he is. Let's see how what they do here. Yeah, still elbowing the side. This is um, this yeah. is actually hilarious. Look, I'm all looking over to our tail. What do you want us to do, boss? Look, look, and look, why look, do they take you so long to take the free kick? Just play it back towards our own goal. You know, just do a little two-yard pass, keep the ball. Let's show. Let's see if they got any ambition here. Let's see if they got any ambition here. Let's see if they put it in behind the high line. They probably will, you know, because Gabrielle's good at set pieces. So this is the only chance they get to like, look, you can see what the plan is. Put it into that, drop it on the edge of the box. Gabrielle run onto it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Calafiori. Oh, if he got that under control, you know. Harlan's got to keep it. Yeah, this is a chance for him. Arsenal. I think it's downplayed that how poor Harlan's... Um, Hold up plays considering that he's so big and um powerful. Martinelli is dog shit. Oh yeah. His link up play and hold up play is terrible. Yeah. That's that's the I think people got too carried away with what Keem was saying, thinking Keem was being disrespectful. Maybe he was, but the point he was making was absolutely valid. Apart from shooting, Haaland is a below basic footballer. Oh yeah. That he like if you if you if you had to play a game with Harlem where he wasn't allowed to shoot and it was just about like passing and movement and all that, Harlem would look like he wasn't even a professional. I, I was speaking to some people the other day and some people think R9 oh, was overrated. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, you can't help those people. Well, Kovacic had a chance there to get shot off. R9 would have, if my R9 stayed fit, I should go all, oh, the lucky oh. bastards. Uh, do you know what? Arsenal's going to hold on with the Jamminists, you know? They're actually going to hold on with the Jamminists. I can actually feel it. Yeah, Harlan does have elite movement, and that's why he gets a lot of goals. But that's his, that's his game. That's his, if you keep Harlan quiet, City don't score goals, you know? Ah, oh, look, another faked injury, for fuck's sake. This is boring as fuck, man. Yeah, this is so boring. And we come to another defender. <laughs> Keep yours coming on. <laughs> Calafiori's off. He's injured. Flip here, no. This is this is incredible. The time wasting is incredible. What's our tech telling right? So you ain't doing nothing but sit back, you know? Dude, he's obsessed with giving out instructions. I feel sorry for his family because he's a control freak beyond belief. Yeah. He's obsessed with giving out instructions. He really is. Like, don't you know you can give too many instructions? Oh, man. What's Calafuri doing? Holding his hamstring? Yeah, it's not. I don't think he's in a good way. Kivior's coming on. That give you, I think it is. Do you know? Do you know what's crazy, Jamie? Every single Arsenal defender has taken part in this match. <laughs> All eight of them. All eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the only yeah. defender who hasn't played is Zinchenko. Is he on the bench? He'll probably get some game time. I, th I think Zinchenko's injured. Oh, is he? That's crazy. Oh man, and look at the setup here. Look at the setup here. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a huge result for Arsenal. Don't get us wrong, guys. It's massive. It's just that the sitting back when you lose a striker that goes six at the back is a bit mad. 
this is what City want. They want Arsenal to come out and have a go. Mm. Oh, don't go back there, Edison. Turn on it. Quick break while there's open space, man. What are you still taking your time for? No, they're just letting Arsenal get back into shape. Is that, what kind of what was possession for the sake of it bullshit is that? But that's, that's all City know. That's, that's what they're drilled. It's just possession, 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 even if you're on the break. They are playing like they for a tapping. That's how they're playing. That's all they know. Just back to this shit there. With a six across the back. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, losing a striker and playing six at the back is mad. Just carry on playing 4-4-1. Four, four, Uh, they don't cross the ball, Crypto. This is the problem. City are playing like they always play. Don't matter how many men they were playing against. They're, they're playing, playing like they've got all day. Yeah, they're playing like they can do a tapping. That's what they want. They're actually playing like they've got all day. You'd actually think that they've got like a, an hour left on the clock or something. They should be playing with more wicks, stretching the Arsenal team. All this through the middle stuff is easy. Look, no cross. Look, still nothing. What's that? Oh, my God. That is pathetic. That's it's actually pathetic. It's, it's so drilled into him to put that. He's bringing on John Stone. So, fuck knows why. It, 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 it's just pass, pass, pass. It's just keep possession for the sake of it. It's what, it's what City do, man. They don't know how to play any other way. Why do they always let the ball bounce? Because they're not very. That good. is really basic level defending, you know. Drift, it's because they're not actually that good at the back. The defenders are not really that good. They just get away with it. Got away with it for years. Every time the ball gets kicked, they let it bounce. Every time. Because no one ever attacks City. So City are not. Like, no one knows how good City's defenders actually are because no one actually ever attacks them. <laughs> So they get away with it. Harland trying to turn and shoot. That's what they need. They need to get Harland to try and get a shot off. Harland, Harland or um, Foden have to be in a in a, a, a shooting opportunity and they and they need it soon. I don't even know if a draw is a good result for City because it's at their ground. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think anything but a win for City is failure. They're at home. If City equalise, are they going to go? Are Arsenal going to go eight at the back? Oh, oh God. Oh, City's not scoring. I hundred percent guarantee you, City aren't scoring today. Oh, we go, Jack Grealish and John Stones. John Stones can smack a ball, so maybe that's why he's bringing him on. Which one is he going to bring off? Oh, he's City's off. going through at the back. Carl Walker's off. Yeah. That's a mistake, though, because Martinelli will give all the other defenders trouble. Silvino's off. Two shit wingers are off. But they're the only wingers with any pace, so now there's no one in this City team with any pace. <laughs> it's just pass, pass, pass now. Walker's off. He's the only one who had pace in defence. So now Arsenal have got the advantage that there's no pace in the Man City team. Oh. I'd put Edison in midfield right now. He's got better passing than fucking Kovacic. Every time the ball has dropped to Kovacic on the edge of the box, he's done fuck all with it. Why doesn't he have a shot or a penetrative pass? He literally just passes. Look what he's going to go sideways. Look. Side to side. And now what? Pass oh, it sideways. You got space. You got space. Oh, oh my God. 
That's keep why he's not shooting, because you can't fucking shoot. Keep it on the ground. Do you know what? I'd have, yeah. I'd have, I'd have hard shots at Raya, because Raya bounces the ball off him himself all the time, and then just get rebounds off him. Yeah, right. it's true. Raya don't catch anything. He doesn't. I'd, I'd just make sure that all of my forward players are anticipating rebounds constantly. Yeah. Every shot has to hit the target. You can't be just whacking it over like that. Who is that old mafia boss that always sits next to Pep? Is he the assistant? <laughs> I don't even know. He looks like an old mafia boss. Look, quick release, switch play to Grealish. Quick release, switch play to Grealish. Fuck you, no. I know, it takes too long, don't it? So they all move up into position and then look, oh, for goodness. Jesus. Nobody told me City's winning the league. Nobody told me City's winning the league. It's Liverpool or Arsenal to win the league. City ain't winning no fucking league. They're whatless, man. They're actually whatless. They don't even know what to do with a 10-man team at home. And they're just playing through the middle constantly, where it's harder to score. Every time Kovacic has, released the ball, has re received the ball on the edge of the box, he just does a sideways pass. Every single time. They need to play the ball out wide. They need their... What they want, Jack Grealish. They need Jack Grealish. And that oh, hang on. That was nice. But they See, need to why not an invention and look how close they came to an opportunity? What they need to do is get Jack Grealish and that out wide on the touchlines and just play the ball out wide constantly. Get your two wingers out really wide on the touchlines. Yeah? And Arsenal will have to mm. spread their defence out even more to cover them areas because they can't have constant crosses coming into the box. And then, yeah. you'll have, then you'll be, and then you'll be able to play through the middle better. Facts. Hundred percent. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Jamie, do you think Mama Dash really is a better keeper than Kelleher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everyone's going to say, "Oh, Valencia are crap in relegation," and Mama Dash really concedes he's got a lot of goals. But you've got to remember, no one ever thought Allison was that good at Roma either, and then he was the best goalkeeper in the world. So. Go play it. Oh my god, they can't even head out. They can't even defend properly. They are so bad, City, at defending. They really are. Yeah, if I was a City fan right now, I'd be embarrassed. I've said this all season so far. City haven't played well. Haaland's got them out of every hole this season. Mm. No matter, he's got them out of every hole. He's the only one who scored for them. No one else scores. If Haaland don't score, no one scores. It's actually true. I don't even know who their second top goal scorer is, but I doubt he's even got three or four goals. They struggle to create goals if Haaland don't, doesn't do it himself. <sighs> Rice puts the ball in the box. Terrible. Picked on, though. Akanji didn't even need to head that. He should have just let it go out. Yeah. Rice on the yellow. What did he get booked for? Why are you getting booked, Rice? <laughs> and that's a lie. It said it's his second yellow of the season. How can that be when he's been sent off? Yeah, he's had two yellows, hasn't he? Fucking hell, they can't even get their facts right. <laughs> they literally just threw it out of play so they can get back into this offensive position. I don't know what they're doing. Of course, Man City got Watford. Of course, Arsenal got Bolton. And then Liverpool get Premier League. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Liverpool get Premier League opposition every time we play cup games. Yeah. Do you remember when Man City got... Um, who was it they had in the semi-finals of the League Cup? Like a League One team, weren't it? So, yeah, Huddersfield or something like that. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, of course. Why not? Then City and Arsenal get a Europa League group in the Champions League as well. 
What a poor cross. Yeah. Oh my God. Is Pep not embarrassed? No, <laughs> he should be. Seriously, is Pep not embarrassed that he's letting Arteta beat him with a 5 4 what, or fucking 6 3 0? This would be an amazing result for Arsenal. I'll have to give him credit. Winning at the yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, they have to go and win the league now. They have to go and win the league now. You don't win at Spurs, win at Villa and win at City and not win the league. They have to go and win the league. Yep. It's so defensive-minded, though. Good play by Bernardo Silva. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Go away. No, go away. Go away. <laughs> The only person in this team who can shoot is Foden and Haaland. Oh, what's Martinelli screaming at now? Oh, the fake cramp. Yeah. He ain't ran for 80 minutes. How's he got cramp? <laughs> yeah. Fake, fake, fake cramp. Oh, he comes Gabriel Zusser Arsenal. It's an attacking substitution. It would just be he Jesus for Havertz, bro. That's oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No tactics. Yeah, yeah. He is, or, or Martinelli. One of one of one one of the attacking players. It's no chance. It's one of the defensive players. Sure enough, when you remember when Arsenal fans in the day used to hate playing Stoke and Burnley's and all that because they played dead football. But mm. Arsenal, Arsenal could win the league playing dead football. Crazy, isn't it? It's like in the day as well. You know, when everyone pissed, took the piss out of Liverpool for having a defensive forward in Bobby Firmino, but now that's what everyone wants. But why on earth is Arteta allowed to get involved and start uh, holding? Where's the yellow card for Arteta's time wasted? Uh, Arteta should have a yellow card for his wig alone. I, I, I've, never, Arteta's, I've never seen that one strain of hair move from Arteta's head. <laughs> if it's a wig, that's hilarious. They've not gone wide once. They've not stretched the defence. Oh, God. That was good header by Foden. It's a good save. Look, every time, it's a, every time Raya does not actually know how to catch or, or keep the ball, okay. every shot is a rebound back into a dangerous area. Don't tell me this goal is fucking world class. Man. Every save is back into play. Man City are just shit. No one's following up. That is a really poor save. That's, he literally put it back into danger. That's a really poor save. He does that. He's actually, City just don't have any runners. He's actually I dived. told you, it would be Martinelli or, or Havertz. It's one of the attackers. He's actually dived past it. He's actually come off his elbow on the dive. It's bounced off his elbow, which means he's dived past it. That's a terrible save. <laughs> You've got to put that out for a corner. you got to put that sort of thing out for a corner. It came off his elbow. All the time-wasting Arsenal have done, I'll be very interested how much stoppage time's added on. Uh, seven minutes, probably. Arsenal have actually wasted about ten minutes. Oh, good, Edda. This is so defensive. It's just sideways, 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 side. It's fucking boring as hell. Right, now cross what it, cross fuck? it, cross it. Oh, for f they are. Are they addicted to just five yard sideway passes? Someone put it out wide and cross the ball. You got Harland in the box. He's waiting. Oh my God. Cross. You have Harland in. What is the point of having Harland on? I have never seen so much shit in my life. Cross Jesus the Christ. Ball. You got so much space. Do something. Oh, for fuck. Cross the ball. And then, yeah, and then look, another fake injury. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Another faked injury. 
No, do you know what? If the referee was actually like doing his job properly, you would actually add about 12 minutes on to the end of this game. The amount of time wasting that Arsenal's done is fucking outrageous. Why is Guardiola okay with sideways, 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 sideways? Look, another two minutes wait. Oh my God, now another one's pretending he's hurt. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! No, the Arsenal are embarrassing, man. Oh, I think my team was pretending they were hurt all the time like this. Oh, then the fake change, waste another thirty seconds with a substitution. Fuck here, no. Oh my God! No, honestly, if there's any justice in the world, there will be at least ten minutes of extra time added on at the end. Yeah, fuck it. Play up. What? No, 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 no. Hold on. You told him he's got to keep the ball out for him to get treatment. The ball didn't go out and then you stopped play. You cheating bastard. Oh, my God. You cheating bastard. Arsenal are the darlings of the league. Absolutely the fucking darlings of the league. <laughs> oh, oh. Absolutely, the darlings of the league. I got a, a, one thing I will question about Pep in this game is why? Why is there so many centre backs on for City right now when you're playing against a low block? What? Why is a on? Why is Stones on? Why is Rod? Why? Why is Diaz on? Why are you playing? Why are you got three centre backs on? Why aren't you putting forwards on? Why aren't you playing out wide? I think you got to credit Arteta for doing what he's done, but you have to question Pep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. I mean, and, and can you explain to me how it's only seven minutes when there's been about seven substitutions alone? So what about all the time wasting for the fake injuries and all that? Yeah, Pep, Pep's calling it. A Unbelievable. Pep's, Pep's calling it. A but day. you know what? As you said, you do have to give Arsenal the credit that they've um yeah, they've yeah, defended. Yeah. You have to give them the credit they've defended well. It's embarrassing how they play. They're a shit football team. They're just a good defensive team. But City oh, it should be embarrassed they haven't broken them down. They really should be embarrassed they haven't broken them down. I can't believe the referee actually kept the game going after he said, I'll stop the game when the ball goes out. That is scandalous. It weren't a head injury. That is scandalous. Yeah, you don't have to You don't have to knock the ball out. You just play on, can't you? It's only head injuries you have to knock the ball out for. Yeah, and the referees actually stopped the game. To, like that—that's madness. Holland, ah, come on, Holland. Uh, this game's over. I'm just staying here to have respect for the viewers. The game's done. City won't even have another shot. Never mind the goal. Man City are shit. Clip me up. I don't care what you say. Man City are shit. For 45 minutes, they played against a six-three-zero, and they haven't even had a proper shot on target. At home. They've gone about it the wrong way as well. Man City ain't winning no fucking league. They, got they ain't up. winning no Champions League. They ain't winning no Premier League. I'm <laughs> telling you now. they got four centre-backs on. Why have they got four centre-backs on? Because they play four centre-backs, bro. They don't really play full-backs anymore. Yeah, but why are four centre-backs playing when against this 10 men Arsenal team? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, why are they not playing Wix? We said it earlier. Get your wingers to touch the touch line. You'll get more. But they don't have any areas. touch line wingers, bro. It's just it's, it's Where's Mr. Clutch Gundawan? It's all through the middle, man. Pet Pet's gone about this the wrong way unless they score here. Yeah. They got a chance. I opened up for him there. Why did he go back? Because it's all they know. There must be something in their training regime that Go! says they can't shoot. They can't shoot until they've made forty-nine passes. Oh my god! They've had so many times to shoot and they keep passing it. And, oh fuck them! No, Arsenal deserve it. See, I don't know. Nah, fuck them. They are so in tuned. Pet. This is the only thing I don't like about Pet Guardiola. He has systemized football so much that his players can't be individual anymore. Hmm. 
Look, go wide. This is where you want it. Keep it wide, Jack. Take him on and cross it. No, Jack. What are you cutting inside for? There's no space there. Go where the space is. Look at the space. Why are you going where there's no space? It doesn't make any sense at all. Play out wide. But look, Bernardo's trying. Look how predictable it was Bernardo was going to go on his left foot. That he couldn't even get past Jesus, who's not even a fucking defensive-minded player. Oh, we might have seen the turn from City to Arsenal in this one match, you know. Yeah. The thing is, there was always going to come a period in football where this could happen because City dominated Arsenal for so long, it couldn't just keep going. Yeah. And they haven't felt like they needed to change anything, whereas Arsenal have been obsessed with, with, with making sure that they know how to... Do you know what I mean? That like City just play the same way all the time, so they kind of are used to how to play against them. This is a blueprint, though. If you go low block, City struggle. Mm. The thing is, I don't mind low block for 10, 15 minutes, but not for 45. Look, Bernardo Silva can't even get past Jesus. He's fucking embarrassing. Yeah, he's got no legs. Like his legs are gone. They've, they've actually kept him a year longer than they should have. That's a corner. Right. Short corner. No, not short corner quickly. What are you doing? Why do you think your boot means that you shouldn't be booked, you prick? You kick the ball away from the corner. Yeah, Martin's right. Arsenal have pretty much played 90 minutes playing the low block. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Oh, no. It's the what worst. a pathetic... The oh, worst. my God. Oh, that's a worst corner I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, it's all wanking fuck off. Him. If you want to fuck him, do it in the changing room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, look, the fake the injury. The, the, the goalie's going to pretend he's injured now. Look, what. He's going to kick it and then go down hurt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They are so bad. <laughs> they, are so they actually bad. don't know how to avoid the ball bouncing, do they? For real. Oh, they don't. They're not very good at defence. They're just a, a team that keeps the ball. Go out wide! Go out wide. There you go. Jack, cross it and you'll get a goal. Trust me. Jack, oh, corner. Right, this is it. Come on. I want City to equalise. I don't want Arsenal winning. Fuck them. They've, there's, they haven't got anyone in their team capable, Jim. Of, no. of, look, the short corner. They don't have anyone capable right, of actually taking the corner. He's opened up space though, Greedish. He's opened up space. He's opened up space. Stones! Oh! Oh! <laughs> and Harden's just bounced oh, it off Gabriel's head. Hell. And Stones just bounced it again. I see the did you see what Harlan just did as well? That was hilarious. It just got the what ball. did he do? He just got the, front, the ball through at Gabriel's head. <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> oh, Saliba can hold that. What was Saliba doing? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. The way VAR's helped Arsenal out recently, I've, I wouldn't even be celebrating this until you actually know it's a goal. Drift, where did the goal come from, though? Playing out a wide. corner. Playing out wide. Across. Right? Yeah. yeah, playing out wide. That's what we've been saying for how long now? The whole half we've been saying play it out wide. And uh, Greenish has just proved how much better he is than Doku. How does Greenish not play more? Look at Greenish here. Gets the ball, plays it out wide, puts the ball Bro, in. I still, I still fully 100% believe oh, that the Labour. The only reason why England didn't do as well as they should have is because Rashford and Grealish didn't go to the Euros, bro. Yeah. I, I, if England did have took Grealish and Rashford, I think they would have uh, done better in the... Uh, look at Arsenal getting all crybabies drift. Look at Arsenal going crybabies now. Like they always yeah. do. I'd love to know who they've got in their team they think can take on Haaland. <laughs> No one. I'll be. Uh, who do they think can take on Harlan? Don't tell me Saliba. He's soft as baby shit. 
Yeah, they got no Virgil. No. <laughs> They've got no no Ibu, no Diego Costa, no Drog, but they ain't got none of them bad man like that. What did Ireland do here? <laughs> No, but let's be honest. The way Partey just tried to block him off, he just did what he was supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine this little skelly you trying to talk to Harlan. <laughs> Harlan's like, who the fuck are you, bro? I Harlan has got an evil look in his eye when he's angry, you know. Yeah, Harlan is six four and about. 17 stone i ain't starting on harland you know? yeah do you know what i mean <laughs> look at the side of his head he can take a shot <laughs> I bet he's got and i don't shot. even want to be rude but he also fits the stereotype of being tall strong and he's not even good looking so he ain't even got to worry about his no, look no, exactly don't ever start don't fight don't start a fight with an angry man they got nothing right it was literally the last kick of the game yeah, say des Arsenal deserved that for playing eight at the back. It was literally the last kick of the game, guys. Two, two, the game is finished. And justice was done for football. For football, Jane. Justice yeah. was done yeah. for football. I don't like either of these teams. But I cannot accept the team trying to win the league, playing a 6-3-0, 6-3-0 yeah. in a title game. <laughs> I can't accept it, Jane. I can't. Arsenal, Arsenal got what they deserve, man. They did. Great result for us, by the way. Great result for Liverpool. Absolutely though. got what they deserve. Absolutely got what they deserve. That's there it. is no world that we should be living in, no world that we should be living in, where a team trying to win the league is doing a 6 3 0 for 45 minutes. Actually, James, how long? There were seven minutes added on. No, yeah. in fact, there was 10 minutes added on. So for 55 minutes, Arsenal played 6 3 0, Jake. 6 3 0. Take a long, hard look at yourselves, Arsenal, and say, how can we consider our, ourselves a big team? And we play 6 3 0. Every defender on your bench took part in this game. Every single defender on your bench took part in this game. Yeah, man. That was hilarious. And your player who got the red card was Trossard. He's an attacker. <laughs> what are you playing at? Arsenal, Sleep. hold that. Sleep hold that. I don't even like Man City, but you tried to you tried to kill football and you tried to ruin everyone's Sunday with that bullshit. The only reason I stayed awake is because my brother here was making jokes. Otherwise, I would have fucking fallen asleep during that. <laughs> oh, one, my. That, it, that is one of them watch alongs where you need two people to go. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, ben White can go fuck rare in the changing room now. Arsenal Jesus. fans clapping their support. but Flipping no. And you want to know what, bro? A draw at the Etihad is a brilliant result. It is, yeah. A draw at the Etihad is a brilliant result, but I can't, I can't, I can't validate this scumbuggery. I can't. All they do is foul, time waste, cheat, roll around, pretend to be injured. Like, I can't, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. Somebody, Arteta's never in his technical area. <laughs> It's scumbaggery. It's scumbaggery. And, and you know what? I'm keeping the same energy for everyone. Man City, you should be ashamed that you were not able to get more out of a game where Arsenal were down to 10 men and you're at home. Man City need to take a long, hard look in the mirror because Man City have no goal for it outside of Haaland. Absolutely no goal for it outside I, of Haaland. It's the only reason... Why Man City are capable of scoring goals. I'm saying it right here, right now, Jay. If that knee injury to Rodri is bad, they've already got 25% less chance of winning the league. And if they lose Haaland, they're not winning the league. Yeah, Clip me on that one as well. Man City can't fucking score a goal without Haaland to save their life. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get happy about that equaliser. If I was Arsenal, I'd feel aggrieved at how jammy that fucking goal was. That was such a jammy goal Man City just scored for their equaliser. Yeah, I'm with you. Unbelievable. Both teams just put me through a whole load of bullshit for 90 minutes. <laughs> Ain't these meant to be the best two in the league? Yeah. I thought I was going to win versus Barcelona, and in turn, I got fucking Bristol City versus Brentford. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it look, like City, I've got a, a problem with uh, someone scoring goals apart from the lead man. Arsenal. 
Arsenal got to play like this till the end of the season because it's the way Arteta plays and they're hard to break down. That's the way they go to play. But I think with City, I think you can get at City. I really do. If you can keep Haaland quiet and you get at City, I think you can win games. You saw that against Inter Milan, Drew. Inter Milan should have beaten City in the Champions League. Inter Milan should yeah, have they should have. Because they kept Haaland quiet. He couldn't score a goal. So City didn't score a goal. Yeah, the boss ain't happy. The boss ain't happy. <laughs> <laughs> the boss ain't happy. He's in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Alex. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> He's not happy. We be- we got to tread carefully, bro. We got to tread carefully. <laughs> 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 no, but you know what, Ali? To be fair, though, a two-two, I can understand why you feel disappointed, oh. brother. Because when you're winning and it's the last kick of the game, the guttedness kicks in. So it's going to be very hard for any clarity to be seen right now from Arsenal fans. But a 2-2 away at Man City is a good result when the smoke clears. Trust me. Yo, Jim. When the smoke clears, it's a good thingy. Welcome back, Sammy. What's up, brother? <laughs> by City, by Arsenal should feel heartbroken, man. All that defended uh, to... Yeah. Yeah, I said he prayed that John Stones. I said big John Stones fan, man. Yeah, no, John Stones is quality. Nobody can ever nobody can ever question how good John Stones is. But yeah. you know what I mean? It's just one of them things where it's a jammy goal. It's a very jammy yeah. equalizer. City, City are very, very lucky, lucky. today, City. Very, um, very lucky today, City. Hundred percent. Oh, Welcome to the party, my brother Jay. Pussies. What's going on, bro? You play like a pussy. This what happens. <laughs> this is what happens when you play like a pussy. Hey. The, pro- the problem Roll is the fuck up. The problem is that pussy was dry as well. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Arsenal yeah. should have went to Diddy's before the game. You look. Got the Diddy's. Yeah, you, yeah, you see Ruben Diaz looking for. You play yes. eight at the back. And you let Kovacic get a free shot in the middle of the box. Yeah, it's mad. Drip, like you ain't see Ruben, Ruben Diaz was looking for a company moment. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was, not it? Yeah, 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 I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, China, you, Diaz, right? You know what's crazy, you lot? Can anybody explain to me why Kovacic never, ever made a forward pass or a shot? Everything yeah. was just sideways, 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 it's, sideways. It's, it's only Foden, Foden should have been that spot, but it's only in the late Foden come and start to pick it up deeper. Mm. Not that guy anymore. Yeah. It was just cover, just to Diaz, to Bernardo Silva, back to Diaz, and <laughs> just going around. Yeah. It was, I could I could have literally done the commentating a minute earlier for the game and I would have been right. Kovacic out wide to Bernardo. Yeah. Bernardo back to Kovacic. Yeah. Kovacic <laughs> left to Diaz. Diaz back to Kovacic. Kovacic back out wide to... You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just the same you know, it was funny. They said that. They said that on the, on the American broadcast. They said that exact thing. They just keep saying names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, no, 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 Man City yeah. embarrassed themselves. Man City embarrassed yeah. themselves today. Home against ten men, and they get a, they need a jammy last second equaliser. Man you know City should be embarrassed today. You know who's the biggest Goku. goal threat without KDB? Like from at the edge of the box is Gavidal, and he only had one shot. The creation. Yeah, very true. He very have a true. shot, boy. Yeah, very. Danny's right though. When you look at that City attack, man, that's not good. No, it's, no not. It's, it's not. It's, it's, it's if you can keep Harlan Harlan is the one man attacking himself, but like, yeah, as a whole, keep... but it's... Jeff, I know you don't like him, but Havertz will create was top class, boy. Going down to 10, I would have thought he's, have... diving. he's, he's diving <laughs> and his and his time was top class. I mean, oh, yeah, no, but I going down to 10, I would have thought they would have sacrificed Havertz in about a take off Saka. No, but you know why they wouldn't, bro? Because they need Havertz for his height from the set pieces, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's why they keep him. That's why they kept him on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, 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 I can totally understand why Arsenal were gutted, but I think a 2-2 draw at the Etihad is a very good result. So it really depends which way you want to spin the narrative. I mean, they proved in the first 10 minutes that they can't play a hard line against City, so they went back into their turtle shell. Yeah. yeah. And do you want to know what's even more crazy if you're Man City while you're absolutely kicking yourself right now? If you're Man City, you're thinking to yourself, why don't we just go out wide and cross the ball in for the whole 45 minutes? Because the one time when they do it, they get a goal from it. That requires a winger that can do that. And for some reason, I think Doku must have pictures or he must have the, the evidence that City needs to... Uh, <laughs> uh, there's no way he should be playing this much. Yeah, it's crazy. He said, if I don't play, it's I'm crazy. releasing the files immediately. You're guilty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that was crazy. That was actually crazy. Like, don't but you know what? do anything but dribble past somebody and pass it backwards. That's all he does. That's No, that's literally all he does. That is literally all he does. But you know what, people? We got what I think we all wanted in the end, which was a draw. So as a neutral, as Liverpool fans, we go away happy with that one. You know, it's actually um, even better, though. We, we didn't just get a draw. Both of these teams are battered now. Rodri's out now. Well, in terms of, like, fatigue and stuff. Yeah, like, that game took a lot of both teams. Rodri's probably out for a while. I mean, we don't wish any mm. on anybody, but, like, these teams just went to war. And we don't have to worry about that until – we don't play Arsenal until the end of October. Well, I'd rather play Arsenal while they don't have Odegaard because I think if they did that low block against us, eventually we'd find a way through. But you never know. Maybe if they came out and played more, it would suit playing against us because we prefer teams who come out and play against us. So I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? They're more likely I to think... play against us since it's at the Emirates too, so... I think as mm. Arsenal, had in, Arsenal versus Liverpool at the Emirates is sooner... Probably October or something, right? November. It's the last weekend in October, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a mad game now. I think we've got City in a couple of weeks, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, um, so, in November, I think it's November time. Yeah. Yeah, that would be very interesting as well, man. I'm yeah, intrigued how the rest... Of, I, I'm intrigued what the reaction's going to be like for this now as well. I'm very intrigued what the reaction. All the Arsenal fans are going to be saying that they were robbed. You just wait for it. You absolutely know the crybaby business is 100% going to start now. Um, but again, as a neutral, as a team who's gone to the Etihad and not got many results, I'm telling you, a draw with the Etihad is not a bad result. Yeah. It's, it's not. Yeah, I don't want people to feel bad for them. Yeah. When something bad happens, yeah, it's, it's not they a bad result with draw the Etihad. So the frustration is obvious. Once the smoke clears, I think Arsenal fans should be happy with that because, again, they were down to 10 men as well. So you've got to give them some credit as well there that it was down to 10 men. And they didn't even really feel like they were down to 10 men, if you get what I mean, because Man City never looked like they had a numerical advantage at any point of that second half. So, you know, credit to Arsenal, but Man City man, at home needing a last-minute jammy goal. It's just crazy. That second half, the first half was so entertaining, and the second half is the worst yeah. half of football I've ever yeah. watched. It's because they don't have any creators. Yeah. Who's going to be creative? No, that was on the field? Who's going to be creative for them? Tracks. I, I'm not going to lie. What shithousery from Haaland after the goal to throw the ball in Gabriel's face as well? That's. That is yeah. just. That is just rude. <laughs> that is just yeah, I, rude. I miss that part, but. He... <laughs> that is just rude I can't believe he did that that's actually madness that is actually mad but guys I'm going to wrap it up Jay, Sammy, Jamie brothers big up for jumping in obviously Jamie yeah. love as always for jumping in for the watch along okay, um, people in the chat big up yourselves much love man I had a blast hope everybody had a blast in the chat as well um, yeah I'm not sure obviously we'll be back for the Monday night show tomorrow um, and I'm not sure when I'm back next, but stay tuned. Make sure that you become a member as well, please, guys, um, on my on my Big Up channel. Um, make sure you go and subscribe to Jamie as well. And, um, yeah. Hold that. Two, two. Crazy, 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 crazy game. But 
until next time, people, love as always. Big up yourselves, man. And we'll catch you on the other side. Peace.